Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it was Subriel Matias after his fight in the post fight interview that he called out Teofimo Lopez and the rest of the guys in the 140 pound division. Not only did he call Teofimo Lopez, but he called them a coward. Un cobarde. That's what Subriel Matias said. Yet, not knowing that Teofimo Lopez is not to be played with. He's too lineal, too division, lineal champion for a reason. And that's because he duck no smoke. He don't duck the best in the division. So when Subriel Matias got hit back with the okay, when Teofimo Lopez stepped up, I right, then my hand hurt. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Tio Fimo Lopez. Wait a minute. I'm not ready. My, my, la mano mía, my, my, my hand, my hand. I, my hand, he hurts. He hurts. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, when you want to call out somebody, let's just for, forget about boxing. Let's just talk about regular people, regular people outside the sport of boxing. You call somebody out. Not only do you call somebody out to fight, you call him a coward. Out of all the fighters that he called out, we all know that Teofimo Lopez is far from that word. That word should not even be around in the air around Teofimo Lopez. Y'all know that. Teofimo Lopez set the tone in this generation. Teofimo Lopez, the one that for Vasey Lomachenko, when Vasey Lomachenko was regarded pound for pound, one, two, three, you can flip it around. And not even Javante Tan Davis' team had the confidence to put Javante Tan Davis with Vasey Lomachenko. He was the underdog. Josh Taylor, people were saying, hey, yo, T.F. Lopez should fight Arnold Barbosa. T.F. Lopez should fight Mamie Regis Progress. T.F. Lopez should fight this, that. And then he said, now nah, let me get Josh Taylor. Oh, no. T.F. Lopez is not ready for Josh Taylor. T.F. Lopez is not ready for Josh Taylor. T.F. Lopez is suffering from mental. No, 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 no. He's not ready. He's not ready. Yes, he's ready. And prove to the world again. And then, which at Subriel Matias, I like Subriel Matias. Subriel Matias is needed in the sport of boxing. Shout out to the to my body, my You know what I'm saying? I think that Subriel Matias is needed in the sport of boxing. Not only needed to the sport of boxing, but he is the guy that's going to lift up that Puerto Rican fan base that is, that's been that's been edging to roar again. I'm talking about the Puerto Rican fan base, the island Puerto, Puerto Rican fan base, the Trinidad Puerto Rican fan base, the Codos um, um, Puerto Rican fan base, the Hector Camacho Puerto Rican fan base. And yes, Amanda Serrano, the seventh division world champion, undisputed, la, la reina de boxeo, the queen, the goats, the gold. Shout out to Jackie Hernandez. Amanda Serrano, the goat. She's been... She's been the one that's been holding the Puerto Ricans, um, you know what I'm saying, fan base on her shoulder. But we all know it's not nearly the same, right? Subriel Matias has all the ingredients to lift up that loyal fan base. And I said it before, and I said it yesterday during the live, that Subriel Matias, they, 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 they haven't done a great job put, in his team putting him in New York City. To put him in front of the Puerto Rican fan base. The Puerto Rican fan base need him in the physical form. But if you're not ready, don't call, especially Teofimo Lopez out. When he is, is historically, historically, we know that Teo is about that work. Teofimo Lopez called out Bud Crawford. Who's calling out Bud Crawford? Calling out Bud Crawford. Tio Fimo Lopez. Hasta la gente creen que Tio Fimo Lopez es loco. Digo, no, no, no. Tio Fimo Lopez. Bud Crawford. No, he don't, got a, he don't stand a chance. He don't stand a chance. That's Tio Fimo Lopez. Tio Fimo Lopez is the takeover, bruh. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. So there's people right now coming to my channel because of yesterday and say, yo, yo, yo. Subriel Matias. Come on, punch. He's injured. Come on, punch. He's injured. What about when I said, and Tio Fimo Lopez. Was not healthy, was not fit to fight George Camboso. Ustedes no me dieron, usted me dieron pase a mí. ¿Ah? Did I say, no, 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 ya made fun of Tio from Lopez. ¿Ah? And he had paperwork. Y el paperwork de Subriel Matías. ¿Ah? 
Hmm? Oh, yo, but, 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 you know what I'm saying? When Tio fall, but say, little chick, we had shoulder. Yeah, yeah, but when it's time for Tio from Lopez, oh, stop it, Tio. You have excuses. Yeah, ahora su no tienen excuses. Now is a legitimate excuse. Show me the paperwork. Like they did to Jamel Charles. <laughs> So you, you can't call out somebody. Tú no puedes hacer esa llamada. ¿ah? Y después decirle a un hombre que ha hecho él lo, lo que ha hecho. Lo que ha hecho, lo que ha hecho. As, a ti, Fimo López. Un cobarde. Así no, mi hermano. Ya tú sabes. Si tú lo vas a llamar cobarde, you're going to call him a coward. Yo, you better back that up. And you better be ready to back that up. And guess what? Subriel Matiz was not ready to back that up. I know ready. I know ready, please, Tio Fimo Lopez. Not right now. What about April? Yeah, April Fools. In Abril. April Fools, March. Nah, nah, nah. The Super Bowl weekend is one of the is 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 the is the primary the primary date. Is a once in a lifetime Super Bowl weekend. Super Bowl is gonna be in Las Vegas, Nevada. Subriel Matias, see from Lopez on Super Bowl on Super Bowl weekend. And Subriel Matias is not ready. Pues no llame a nadie, mi hermano. If you're not ready, don't call nobody out. Now you want it in your time, time on time. You're going to call somebody out, but then you want it in your time. Así no, así no. Tú eres más bueno que eso, Subriel Matías. Tú eres un matatán. Subriel Matías es un matatán. Pero Tiffem López, el rey de la 140. See if Lopez just moved up to the 140-pound division. Subriel Matias has been in the 140-pound division his whole career. Y todavía Tio Fim Lopez ha hecho mal. Y a ese tigre, him, you're going to call cobarde. You're going to call him a coward? Man, please, man. Don't put that, that word around uh, um, Tio Fim Lopez. But I'm going to tell you like this. Tio Fim Lopez versus Subriel Matias, unification bout is big, but it could be epic. It could be huge. I just want his team to put him out here in New York City. So, you know what I'm saying? Subriel Matias, MSG. Put him in New York City. Matter of fact, if he can't get, if he can't get the, the, the team from Lopez fight right now, if he's not ready, I suggest that Subriel Matias, mira te plan. Subriel Matias fights Roly Romero in June, Puerto Rican Day Parade in Madison Square Garden. Mira es. Knocks out Roly Romero because I believe that Matias will beat Roly Romero. And you know the build-up to Roly Romero and Subriel Matias. They'll go back and forth. A unification bout with Roly Romero, Subriel Matias. Subriel Matias wins in front. Finally. Finally, he fights in front of the Puerto Rican fan base. Los Latinos. Latinos Unidos. Right? And with that victory, next up is the unification bout with Tiffany Lopez. Then it will be huge. See, right now is a big fight. But the only thing is that I want, see, the thing that why I say that I want Subriel Matias to get the opportunity to showcase his skills and talent in front of the Puerto Rican fan base is because I know my beloved Puerto Rican fan base need that type of action. They need to roll. They need to cheer. They need a hero like Subriel Matias. And if you fight see from Lopez right now, to be honest, I got to see from Lopez beating Subriel Matias. I just want him to get that opportunity. This fight could be bigger. And maybe, I said, maybe Subriel Matias hand is not injured. And maybe it's a business decision move because PBC got that deal with Amazon Prime. So they said, wait, 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 Subriel, no lo filme, no lo filme, espera, espera, espera. The announcement, the announcement, viene, viene in a couple of days, no lo filme. Like they did a Pitbull Cruz, they didn't let Pitbull Cruz fight Shakur Stevenson because they knew that this deal was on the pipeline. That's why they didn't, they didn't let Frank Martin fight Shakur Stevenson because they knew the Amazon Prime deal was on the pipeline. Why would they put Subriel Matias and Team from Lopez a crossover promotion right now when they just got a new deal in where Subriel Matias could capitalize at least one time with that deal? And it's a smart business move. Smart business move. Hey, if you fall with a messed up hand versus the last guy, hey, people do fight injured. Like I said, Subre Matias es un matatán. Dangerous. I love Subre Matias. I like Subre Matias. 
Tiafim Lopez is my guy though. Tiafim Lopez is the standard. But I like Subre Martinez. And I think they say, hold up. Let's give Subre Martinez a chance to be big. To capture the imagination. The imagination to captivate the imaginations and the emotions of the Puerto Rican fan base. Eso es lo que, eso es lo que yo quiero. I mean, that's what I think happened. Let me know what y'all think, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what y'all think. Y el, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. Love you, God bless, and on to the next.